In this video, I'll show you how to create a self-updating table of contents for your thesis or dissertation. You don't necessarily need to do this, but it's much easier than updating all those page numbers manually, and it reduces the error rate. Again, I'm working in Word 2011 for Mac. Here's my sample file from the previous video with the page numbers inserted. Here's the abstract with a page break and the table of contents placeholder. Now, in order to build your table of contents, Word will look for what you designate as headings using styles. Styles are very handy. You can make a style look exactly the way you want and then assign it to different parts of your work and they'll be automatically formatted the same way. So, let's create some headings. I'm going to create two levels of them, chapter level and section level. I scroll down to my main text and here's my first chapter. I highlight the chapter heading and in the home tab I look for styles and in styles I choose heading 1. Now notice how Word has its own ideas about what that should look like. I'm going to format it to accord with the rest of my dissertation so I will leave it highlighted, I will choose the font that I was using before I will make it black, I will center it, and I will make sure that it's the font size that I need. Okay, and now I will right-click here in the styles on heading 1 and update it to match the selection. Now, for this document, any time I choose heading 1, this is what it will look like. So then let's designate some section headings. They will be heading 2. Here's the first one, same deal, I highlight, I choose heading 2, oops, there we go, I reformat it, I right click on heading 2 and I update that to match selection. You can also say that, for example, if I format the paragraph, you want after section 2 for there to be a space. And then update that to match selection. Now I will find some other section titles and designate them as section 2, as heading 2, sorry. Here we go. And this. Okay, and now let's go to chapter 2. Usually it's on a new page. I designate this as heading 1, and I designate this as heading 2. Oops. Here we go. Okay, scroll down a little bit. And here's also a heading 2. Okay, now let's go all the way back up to the table of contents placeholder. I delete the placeholder. I position my cursor to where I want the table to start. Then I go into the Document Elements tab on a PC. This may be under References. And I insert the table of contents. Go ahead and insert the first one you see. OK. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Again, I have to fix Word's default formatting, like right here. And then, uh, and then make sure that I update the style to match my selection. But, uh, but the, the, the main work has been done. Now, if I designate more headings or edit the Word document, such, as my, uh, such that my page numbers change, I can go to this little arrow right here and update the table of contents. And I can say either update only the page numbers or the entire table.
and that will be done automatically. As always, if you have questions about this, please get in touch with me. My contact info is in the first video in this series.